Okay, this is Sally again, nine-year-old bay ex-national hunt thoroughbred mare. Um, you may have watched the first three lessons that we did based on walk, halt, a little bit on turning, and a little bit on basic walk to trot and trot to walk transitions. We built on that yesterday and we took that 15 minute session up to doing it. exactly the same thing, but over about between 20 and 25 minutes, just to do a bit of strengthening and a bit of repetition. Today, we aim to introduce a little bit of canter. Now, we're not gonna do too much, and I'm just gonna, just gonna pick up Trot a minute before she gets bored. Trotting, good there. She's naturally, seems to be, although she's sharp, she's quite a lazy mare, so I've just, Picked up a schooling whip today, just so I can lighten my leg a little bit. Good mare. But as you can see, she's finding it very easy and natural to ride into the contact. She feels pretty even in both hand. We lose balance occasionally. Oh, there we go, there we go. But she's, she's really trying a little heart out. Go on, girl. We've warmed up already, so we've done 10, 15 minutes of all the stuff that we did in lesson one, two, and three. Now, when I come past the camera and I'm going away from home, I'm just gonna sit and ask for canter. I expect her to be a little sharp. Canter, good girl, and steady. Good, good, and trotting. Well, okay, that was a lot less eventful than I was expecting. Good girl. And walk. And walk. Now, I asked for canter from a light seat because that's what she'd be used to. At the end of the day, when you're reschooling, walk up. When you're reschooling your thoroughbred, there's not much point in taking a nice, big, deep seat and kicking for canter as if you're riding a horse that's only ever been schooled as a normal riding horse. These guys, when they canter, they used to go in really quickly. And the last time this girl cantered with someone sat on her back, she was on a gallop. So I'm gonna repeat the same thing again, trotting. So I'm keeping the trot nice and forward. And I'm just aiming to canter down the long side. So keeping my seat light. Canter. And steady. Good girl. And steady. Good girl. And trotting. Okay, and the hand forwards in the downwards and the upwards transition. And we're staying nice and calm. And walk, Sally. Oh, Baba. Oh, Baba. That's good. We're just gonna do this one more time on this rain. Trotting. Good girl. Steady, anticipating it now, which is canter. Good girl, and steady. I'm just putting a little bit more weight in the saddle now. Good girl. And if we can get around the top end, that's great with the flappy silage bags we've got there. Good girl. I'm aware that I've got trotting. A little bit too much movement in my upper body, but I'm just trying to keep my seat light and still. So I'll take the movement from the canter through my upper body for now, just to keep everything nice and quiet for her. And walk, Mare. Whoa. Well, that was a result. We're just gonna try that on the other rein. Good Mare. Good Mare. We'll just do a, a walk halt and good. Walk on. Hey. Just a little touch with the schooling whip, just to keep her mindful. Good mare. And turning off my outside rein, good girl. And walk up. And trotting. So we're just gonna be mindful that this rain may feel different for her. Canter. Good girl. And steady. We're crooked. I don't mind that. We're crabbing. I don't mind that. Whoa, steady. 
steady because we're still, wait, wait, lost our steering. Steady, mare. We're going to do this once more, then I'm just going to give her a little break. Canter. Oh, I don't care that it's the wrong leg. That's fine. Good mare. We'll just circle. Steady. And steady. Getting a little, little crossed. That's fine. Steady, man. There's no point asking them to do hundreds of things all at once at this point. Canter. That's fine. It's the wrong leg, but that's okay. Steady. Steady. And walk. There we are. And walk, man. Good girl. We'll just give her a, a minute or so to chill out. So, yeah, there's no point getting on board and asking for canter and then suddenly asking for the front end to come up and the back end to engage and then suddenly you notice they're a little bit crooked so you want to push the back end over and and then you find them a little bit heavy in your left hand forget all of that stuff right at the beginning keep the question simple and as much as possible make sure that the answer to your question is going to be yes because at this stage if you ask too much you're going to open up a whole can of worms Good mare, good mare. So what we're asking today is, will you canter and will you stop? Hey, hey, hey. So let's go one more time, trotting. That a good mare, good mare. Whoop, losing my outside rein a little bit. Good girl. I'm just going to circle again, outside rain. I don't care that it's wobbly. Good girl. Go on. Go on. Good girl. Good girl. Just taking a bit of the canter through my upper body and trotting. That's it. Hands always quiet. So I'm not socking her in the mouth. And walk. Whoa, what a clever girl. What a good mare. And in terms of the amount of canter we're going to do, eh, 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 that's enough for today. They don't need to do 30, 40 minutes per session. 10, 15 minutes, keep it short, keep it sweet, and keep the answers to your questions yes, and you really can't go wrong with that. There you are, Baba. Ooh. Good girl. <laughs>